third question. All right, so, okay, the third question is very interesting. Whitney, shout out to Whitney. Whitney brought this up. She did the screenshot for me or whatever, Um, which was, I don't know. Everyone should know. If, if you don't know, then you're sleeping on our route. But you know who Lori Harvey is? That's the stepdaughter of Steve Harvey. And then you also know who Sierra is, you know, the uh one, two step, you know, future like 99th baby mama or whatever. But anyway, so the question is, which direction, if we would drive, if you are a car, ladies, if you are a car and you came to a sign where it was like left or right, left, however the camera is showing it, you got to choose a path where you're going. Are you going to go Lori Harvey's direction, sexual freedom, you do what you want, city girl, hot girl, icy girl, whatever you want to call it, Lori Harvey, or do you want to go this way where you want Sierra's family lockdown, like where she's married, she got her, you know, she made, I don't want to call Future, the rapper, a mistake. But she thought she was in love, you know, and she thought yeah. she, he, he proposed to her, like he was a scammer. Like he just, he, even though the, <laughs> this is why backgrounds matter, you guys. I don't understand why women do this. Yo, you fill out all these damn job applications. They always ask for a, a drug test, background check. You got to do that with men. Like she knew what his history was. But what happened is these men be mind fucking us and be like, oh, that's in the past. I'm on the... So which direction are y'all going? Lori Harvey? freedom i do what i want with whoever i want whom i want are you want to go with sierra where you like no i just want to yeah i just uh, uh, go ahead court <laughs> go ahead you can go ahead because i'll probably be a little winded <laughs> okay so i would go Lori harvey and find my way to sierra because i know i know everyone's assuming that she's excuse my like whatever i know everyone's assuming that she's fucking everybody that she's been dating and everything else like that but that's not always the case i know who i am i know i'm not going to be just skirt, skirt, you know for everybody but i, 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 <laughs> okay, I would live shout out to ad lib skirt, skirt. <laughs> <laughs> but i would um i would multi-date to find my russell whatever you know what i mean because I'm sorry, I'm not with the whole you got to be loyal to me even though we're just talking type of thing. No, if you want me and you want to at a point, you would, I hate to use this word, term, but you would cuff me. You would ask me to be an exclusive relationship with you. Like, you wouldn't be like, oh, we're just talking, but I don't want you talking to nobody else. No, I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not with that at all. So I would do Lori Harvey. I would ride in that lane. And then as soon as I find someone who can, knows what they want, and they know what I want. We can work on it. And I skirt right over to us uh, to Sierra. Okay. So, but that's how I would do it because, yeah, I'm not with that whole. Oh, we just talking. We ain't together, but I don't want you talking to nobody else. Whatever. Right. Not bars. Keista, how do you feel about it? Are you familiar with Lori Harvey? Um, I'm not too much familiar with her, but according to how you just described it. Well, basically, what she is is she's like a socialite. She don't really have. She's she's more like a socialite, like and she go places. She you know whatever, but she's more famous based off of her who her stepfather is, who her mom is, and she's a, a very attractive black woman that has um, famous for being famous. Yeah, famous for being famous. Um, and uh, she's dated men that women, regular women, would fantasize over. And men that that are rich want to be with her. You know, I want to have her as arm candy, rather. Mm. Well, um... And she basically does what she wants to do. She does what she wants to do. Okay, yeah. so a lot of people might not agree with me when I go say ahead. that. Go ahead, that's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. This that's what you're here for. That's what you're here for. This is me, and this is how I feel. I can't feel for nobody else. But personally, and Michelle is about to walk in on this right here. Jesus, <laughs> Come on in, Michelle. Come on in, girl. Come on so, in. So <laughs> if, if you would have asked me this question over 10 years ago, it probably would have been the Harvey route, the Harvey girl route. It probably would have okay. been her route. But now that I am where I am and I realize that things ain't how people really naturally see things, 
then I would absolutely take more of the Sierra route. Um, as far as I do want a family, um, I do want a husband, but I do want to do things the right way for the simple fact of, I look at it now as I don't want to get caught in nothing that probably sent me to hell. That's just me. Well, I don't want to get caught in nothing that's going to make me a single parent. <laughs> that too. Well, um, yeah. So, so, so I kind of get what you're saying. So that, that's kind of like how it is, you know, not saying that she's sleeping with everybody or anything like that, but I don't want to be a man hopper. Now, being able to have fun, okay, cool, uh, innocent fun, stuff like that, um, being able to uh, go out or being able to, um, you know, do certain things and stuff like that, okay, you know, fine. But I want to be able to do it the right way. But that, that's me. That it, you know, that's what I want. Granted, we are human. I know. And right. granted, we have mistakes. We have fallen and we have parts that we, that we won't. But it's just me that I prefer the Sierra route. And I just, I want to do it the right way. I don't, you know, but back in the day when I was partying and drinking and all that stuff, I, I would have chose the Harvey way probably until I, like Courtney said, until I found my way to Sierra. Okay. Hold oh, on, I thought I put her in here. She, you saw her message? No. And she I, said her screen froze. Okay. Um, no, right, but I don't want you to misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm not saying like I'm just going around like fucking people and just doing stuff and then, oh yeah then, no like, you don't oh, have to explain yeah I'm you don't because that's what I, what you're talking what you said was what i do now which is i'm conversing with what with, typically mm -hmm. more it's, it's like three guys typically at one time because the reason why it's usually three guys is because not one person because everybody like to say ain't nobody perfect so it's typically a guy who semi got his life together a guy who Okay, well, I don't want to break it down because then I'm sound crazy. But yeah, I, I just don't think you should put all your eggs, especially like if you're single, you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. But I've met a guy recently, um, the, <laughs> the butt fuck guy or whatever. <laughs> like he got super upset with me because, <sighs> because I don't date how he dates, which is, which is hard for me to believe that because guys lie all the time, but he was like, he only date one person at a time, one woman at a time. He was like, I like to focus on that one woman. And then I can't, I can't talk to this person. Talk to her, da, 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 da. I'm like, girl, stop. Stop. Well, see, that's my thing. Are we dating or are we just conversing? Because if we're just conversing, what's the difference? What's the difference in dating and conversing? For, for those of who don't know, what's your definition of that? Conversing is just like getting to know each other, just like you would a friend. You know what I mean? Like, oh what do you do on your off time stuff like that I think dating is when it's been like established that you want something out of what's going on and okay. you're getting into deeper conversations and deeper like okay well then I was dating I mean I was conversing then okay so but but this is the thing I think Whitney was saying about this dating thing like but we would go out to eat and then you think well if you're going out to eat then we're dating but then you'd be like no but we're talking while we're eating though like she's right we do need to talk about this dating thing like what is it you know but but I, yeah i miss my Lloyd harvey stuff no you can Did I miss it no 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 oh, okay. <laughs> okay so whew, the internet has been on fire with this Lori harvey and sierra stuff y'all yeah. and it's just so funny to me because you know i feel like there's nothing Lori harvey is super young I think she's maybe what 23 22 or something yeah, like that 23. yeah yeah 23 so she's she's still young um I think just depending on wherever you are in your life you could like Kisa said you know if you would ask her some years ago she would have said the Lori Harvey route but I think like once you get older and mature and you're looking for more then you're gonna go to the more Sierra route but at the same time I feel like both both women or their their routes to to finding the the one for them 
are essential. Like, how can you get to the one if you haven't dated anybody to know, okay, this is what I like. I don't like this, or I need more of this, or I need less of that. Like, you have to figure that out. And, you know, if you, I feel like if you just stick with that one person, it's like, you don't really know what you want and don't want. You kind of start to conform to how that person is. Like, this is how they like to be loved, or this is how they like to, but you don't really you haven't experienced anybody else to know what you like and what 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 makes you motivated and what what you want in another mate. So I think dating definitely is important, and you know people have to get to that point. Sierra didn't just you know boom she got her Russell Wilson. Like if you look at it, she was the same way. She dated a lot of uh, guys um, in the industry, um, and granted she was in relationships with these guys, and you know they were in in relationships together it wasn't like she was just you know this picture with this person and that person like she really had relationships with these people but again we saw it all unfold with Sierra her relationships her breakups you know infidelity even when she was with Future she had a kid by him and it was kind of like you know I don't know it was kind of like I wish it wouldn't say sad but I think people was looking at it like dang like Sierra was good and then like she had a kid by him and we know like you know, everything's on display on social media, like, you know, yeah, and, like, you getting played and stuff like that, and then you, she made the song, I bet you start loving me, <laughs> like, I felt so bad for her, because I was like, oh, my God, oh, God, yes. I was like, girl, I was like, oh, my God, where was Megan like, the Stallion so when you needed her, yeah, I know she needed yes. a, she needed a Megan the Stallion, a city girl, like, link up, and be like, girl, you gotta get over that, man, I know, I know, but you can't put that out, even though that was a great song, right. you know, but, yeah. right, and so, like, I feel like both of them are, like, so needed, but Lori Hart, but the, I think this, the thing with the, the guys is just like, it really is, I don't know, I don't think upsetting, but it's just like Lori Harvey can be viewed as this woman who's kind of, one of my sorority sisters said it really well on Facebook. It's almost like she represents like a badge of honor for guys. Like none of the guys are saying she's like that she's talking to or that she's have talked to is going to call her a hoe or she's in the streets because I feel like they know that that's simply not true. I feel like they are the ones that brag about, oh, you know, they want somebody to know they had Lori Harvey. A lot of people think that, oh, it's just women that wants to attach themselves to guys or celebrities when it's really a lot of celebrities that want to attach themselves to these certain type of women. Like you have these uh, Instagram models or these very, you know, they're getting famous like you're a love her, um, Alexis Skies or people like that. Like they start to see those women kind of popping a little bit and they want to like kind of poke their chest out and flex a little bit like, oh, okay, I got this person. And I feel like as soon as she feels like a guy is doing that, it's like she on to the next person. Like she don't want you to be trying to say you bagged her. So it's just like she's going to get up and get out. I mean, she's young. I don't know who she's sleeping with, who she's not sleeping with. But I, I do have a strong feeling that. Don't do this to me. I know. Oh, I want to like, your screen froze. Hold up. Wait, your screen froze. Hold up. Wait a minute. People think like, oh, that's like what's a little bit different because we've seen her name attached to different guys and oh, we see. Hold up. 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 Hold up bragging about bagging her she usually backs out and yeah. then it started getting choppy okay so that oh okay. yeah okay i think Lori kind of represents um the phrase what guys love to say uh, well hold on, let me do this kiki i know you you say you gotta you know so just you can exit out whenever it is because we're going to have to get to the fourth question. I, I see what, what time is getting. So just let us know. Let me know. And then, you know, you can just drop out. Okay. But, um, okay. So let me go. Okay. So I think Lori fits the the phrase that a lot of guys like to say, um, I want a, a, a classy in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Because I don't see, I mean, you correct me, but because I don't follow her like that, but I don't see where she's like has any like scandal or anything. Like she doesn't do anything reckless. She don't do anything crazy. Like she ain't beefing with nobody. Like you know, like she's like a uh, beautiful. I think natural or semi natural, but I want to say natural body right. black woman. You know, she got she mm -hmm. come from good genes. You know, her mom looks good or whatever. But um, and then 
clearly she got something popping because she keep getting these millionaire men, you know? Um, and then she's not really, like you said, she's not really talked about in a negative manner. She's like more of a trophy. She's more of like, yeah, I, you know, I had, I, you know, uh, you know, but um, I think, I, yeah, I, I, my thing is with that, um, I don't, I don't date per se, like, um, which I, I don't know, but I converse, you know, with multiple guys, um, because I do agree with me with what you're saying about, you have to talk to people, you have to know, you have to experience different things in order to know who is the one and what you want, what you don't want, what you want to experience. And I think that's kind of like how, uh, women when they're younger they get with one person and it's just it, it's over with and then after the kids them grow up and moved out the house and that's when they start being like i never lived my life i don't know who i am <laughs> you know like because you just yeah. got with that one person you know and then you probably was a stay-at-home mom or something and you know but anyway and then he cheating it but anyway um i like what i like what uh lori represent as far as uh independence i don't know what she do but independence and yeah. um the fact that she does what she wants to do she doesn't care about the opinions of others she's not controversial she does not yeah. she ain't under the blog like i don't know how she do that like that is so powerful i, I have mean, no like idea almost, how strong you gotta you, do not to you say don't she. see nothing about her like you'll see stuff about who she's linked with but other than that like you she don't say nothing honestly nothing. i think she's giving these she don't niggas, even respond she don't even she, respond listen, at all she Lori, if you're watching this <laughs> girl i don't know <laughs> if you are giving these contracts out but you need to start you need to start get doing gag orders like like start like no before before you even kiss me or touch me or i get you you put my number in your phone sign this documentation saying you will not speak upon me like i don't want none of my business <laughs> out there like none of it like, because like you said, like, they're just like, oh, because me, me rapped about it in a song. He was like, I want Lori for a Christmas gift. Was like, nigga, she ain't no cop. I know cop. <laughs> oh, he said he got Lori Harvey on his wish list. Yeah, like, what's wrong with him? Like, he got canceled or something. Like, what's wrong with him? But you know what's crazy, though? If, if the, th the crazy thing and the good thing about the Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan relationship is just like, uh -huh. it it can go really good or it can go really bad like it can go really good if they really like have a long-term relationship and they are happy and healthy together but it's it can go bad because a lot of females even though it may have been playful you know a lot of females they really like michael b jordan so now, they now that he's seen off the market now it's just they like they almost like okay now you got him so you better treat him right you better not treat him like you Whitney, I think it's him. Like, I ain't never been a fan of Mike. I ain't, I, he ain't my cup of tea. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't, first off, I'm surprised he even talking to us. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say the same thing. I don't thing. like I you. I, I don't like. Wait, so Courtney, you don't like Michael B. Jordan? I like him, but like, don't get me wrong, I find him very attractive. I think he's a I great know. actor. If I, you know, he hollered at me, I'd be like, what's up? But <laughs> I, from my understanding, he like, yeah, he, he, he like, yeah, yeah. From my understanding, yeah. that, that right. was, yeah. so I was actually, it was really too. shocking to me. It was shocking to you, me. But, you, but I, was, I think it goes like, back to that was shocking that that was her pick. It goes right. back to what you said. He's, she's just a, a pick. Like, he knew if he bagged her, because if he bagged oh, her, he's like, that, that, that raises his black card in the black community because he ain't, he ain't, he know he ain't. Like, oh my gosh, you got Lori Harvey. Like, he, right. it's almost like, you. I don't know if y'all seen all of those um, memes and stuff that I posted. I saw. Like, my thing. And um, when um the guy, I mean, I, I don't even watch um, this stuff. So when the guy, what is his famous? Whoever the guy is, put the little on thing in his arm. Um, what you call it? I don't I know. know. It's, it's, it's like a marble. Right. Yeah, I feel like that's how it is. It's just like he's like, oh my gosh, like I got Lori Harvey. Like, I'm the man. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's how pretty sure he like feel about it. But it's it's crazy because I don't know. Like I said, it can go really well or it can go bad. <laughs> I don't I don't chase after men that don't chase after us. So Michael B. Jordan been out of my uh my my cycle. He's never been in my rap cycle, you know, because he don't he, he like yeah. You know, and then let's go with the, let's say if she do break his heart, let's say she does. 
you know he gonna be like, I'm never trusting them again. <laughs> You're like, well, you ain't never liked us anyway. Go take your ass. I mean, I personally <laughs> hope that they 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 last. Yeah, they're still young. She I, at the very least, I just hope they. Yeah, she's twenty three. I don't think I. I wouldn't really necessarily hope that it's like go the long haul. I just hope that they are able to at least have like a good relationship where we can. See yeah, them, you know. Yeah, you know, I and I feel like you know that, that. that's what we'll see anytime. Yeah, I, I give them. Yeah. I mean, because what they're giving us, you know. But see, this is the thing. This I don't. This is what pissed me off about it. Like. If I was her and I lived my life Lori Harvey way, I would have never allowed him to let us go public like that. Because what's going to happen is there are a lot of women that love Michael B. Jordan. And now that they went public, so they're going to be like, oh, so she with him. Oh, he chose her over me. Oh, okay. Now he ain't going to be able to go to the damn bathroom to blow his nose because they're going to be like, I was in here with Michael and I got his tissue. How else would I get his tissue if he wasn't sleeping with me? Like, now it's going to be so much pressure. So that's why I think one of the main reasons why their relationship is not going to work because they went public, which she don't, you know, they went public and there's going to be so many women now that's going to, like, try to break them up. You know? Yeah, but I think think that's why she did it, though, because she wanted it to be like, y'all know she hasn't really, she hasn't posted any guy. So I think this was kind of like her and his way of being like, okay, this is something a little bit more than it was with any other girl or where there was any other guy. So I feel like they almost felt like they had to do it in order to establish the to confirm and establish the seriousness of their relationship. Right, you know, I, at this stage, like, they're young, so I don't even feel like, you know, I don't yeah. know how serious it is, but at least we see that they want people to know that they're together. Right, and either way, eventually somebody was going to get some picture of them. They've been traveling. Somebody was going to get a picture of them together. Mm-hmm. Those are two opposite people. Like, she's not an actor. She, you know, like, she's famous for being famous. He's an actor. Why the hell are they together? Yeah. I ain't right, never seen yeah. Harvey hang out. There's no reason. For <laughs> <to get it. laughs> I mean, it it was gonna come out irregardless, so that's probably another reason why they posted it. Because I mean, I'd rather leak my own story than be in the media. If that but see, that's sense. what I don't yeah. want to be famous. I, I I just want the money. Me either. Like, honestly, I, if I like, if I didn't have to do this shit like this, you know, like I honestly, if I could like be behind it, like production, like lights, camera, you guys go. You know, honestly. If this blows up, I'm backing up out of it. I just want to, you know, I just want to be, I just want to, that's it, make it rain on me, you know. I, I don't want to be talking and I want to do opinions and stuff, but I just don't want to, I like this, but I don't want what comes with it. Like, I don't want the ridicule. I don't want to criticize it. I want to shop in peace, you know. Um, I, don't, I just, you know, I know. All right, so. So basically to wrap that up, um, we want the Sierra, but we appreciate how Lori Harvey is, you know. Okay. Yeah, that, was, right. that was a good one. Yeah. All right. So the very last question. Okay. Keista. Are you, you going? Because this this going to this gonna go a little while. I mean, so you want to go ahead? You We'll see you next Sunday or... <laughs> What you gonna do? Girl, if you'll go ahead and do this question. All right, so the very last question, <laughs> the very last question is um it comes from the um the idea of it comes from um Marie Genometta. Uh okay, so the original question that she sent me last night, um, she said, Why don't women care or value themselves enough to leak 